a red hot 1970 LS6 Chevelle screams your way from the Brothers Collection. It's hard not to envision a bright red 1970 Chevelle when you hear the words muscle car. If ever there was a poster child for a muscle car, well this one is probably it. I remember seeing cars like this 1970 Chevelle when I was a kid and knowing even then that cars like it were special. I didn't know anything about the high compression 454 cubic inch LS6 V8, but I sure felt the rumble when one rolled past. 1970 Chevelle LS6 454s are like the playground bullies of the muscle car world. They're big and fast and powerful, and they have a 450 horsepower punch under the hood. It's no wonder everybody likes these cars. 1970 is often considered the peak year for the first generation of muscle cars, as the power numbers reach their highest just as emissions regulations, fuel changes, and insurance premiums clamp down on the fun for 1971. Hot Rod Magazine tested a 1970 LS6 Chevelle in their May of 1970 issue, and the first couple of paragraphs are all about the impending doom and gloom, about how federal emission standards and the removal of lead from the fuel will crush the performance of cars like this for the coming 1971 model year. They also bemoan the possibility of insurance premiums rising to amounts exceeding a third of the value of the car and came right out and declared these cars all but dead because of these factors. At the same time, they relished their time with the car, as did we. In that 1970 article, writer John Diana, who was also my former boss, was able to ring out a 1334 at 108 mile an hour quarter mile run on the stock tires in their test LS6 SS. They claimed they had to launch the car from a 900 RPM idle to get it to move without the tires going up in smoke, and we believe them. The 11 and a quarter to one compression 454 produces a beastly 500 pound feet of torque at just 3600 RPM. The LS6 utilized a Holley carburetor and an aluminum intake manifold over the solid lifter camshaft and 1.7 ratio rocker arms. Header like manifolds were okay, but the 454 appreciates headers and open exhaust. The Muncie M22 four speed manual transmission relies on a heavy duty clutch to stay up to speed with the LS6, and the 12 bolt rear axle is stuffed with 410 gears and a positive traction differential to keep both wheels turning and the car pointing straight down the street or strip when it's time to stop messing around. This cranberry red and white 70 LS6 is showing less than 62,000 miles on the odometer. Heck, the original clock still works, and the bench seat four-speed combo is classic street brawler. And the Sunny and Cher tape? Not mine. Inside, the 70 Chevelle received a dash redesign with a new gauge layout. This car features the rally gauge upgrade to keep tabs on the underhood mayhem, and also an AM radio with an 8-track player to provide even more entertainment. A bench seat 4-speed combo is a classic sleeper move, but there's no sneaking around in a bright red and white LS6 Chevelle with SS stripes tattooed on the nose and deck. Everybody knows what this car's all about. White letter tires are stretched around 14 inch rally wheels and the car rides on heavy duty suspension with front and rear sway bars, box rear control arms and stops with front disc brakes. For as much power as they make, these cars are quite comfortable and quiet to drive around. We welcome your feedback on this 70 Chevelle SS or any other cars we've featured from the Brothers Collection on our website or social media channels. And we'll be back with another awesome ride next time on Muscle Car of the Week.